Wow. I can't win them all. Okay, he was in a tough spot, but really. Okay. So I guess final boss before legend. This is the first time in the month of May that I get to five stars. Last time I went to legend, I, I went like six, seven or eight times uh, on this exact match. Or it's just a fight before legend. Let's see if we can manage to do it the first time around this time. That would just be excellent. Blessing of Kings and Spellbreaker is good against Warlock. Against the Priest, it's an unfavored match for me. Um, but I can coin out a Blessing of Kings. I just want to have a 2 drop then. And also have some, some good answers. I also want Sunkeeper if I am against a Spiteful list. So a one drop into Armani into Coin Blessing of Kings is usually a really significant turn. You are the shadow's puppet. I guess that is actually fine. <laughs> <laughs> just go face, there's no reason to. And probably coin true silver or something like that. Out of my He's probably going to trade there. And then I kind of need to bless your kings. We have a good answer. Um, in any other way than this. But this is really, a really good answer, because this is a spiteful list, so I am really keen on actually getting my qualities and also my my Sun Keeper Terran. With three key cards in this. Can't work. Yet again. Really want to take that 50 50. There's a turn before. I think I'll just clear this one. Will be Could have gone for the 50 50 and knife juggler and then an Amani. But the knife juggler is pretty valuable, even if I get an equality. I should do have a potential answer with the nice Jockler to actually finish off the spiteful summon. Is someone injured? Actually, mind. Oh, that's a perfect draw. I don't really care if he draws cards. Just want to be able to answer whatever drops. Let's do this. Hopefully it goes face, but no matter. Now he actually nah, he doesn't need to heal it before. He's in his spiteful turn. That is a rather slow move, which would be good for me. Your magic shall not save me. Okay. So I still wanna keep the Terran. Let's see if I can draw the other knife juggler. Just see if I can get some favorable traits here. Nope. Mmm. No, I 
we're getting into. I don't want to play too much into. Um, Psychic Scream. This does play into it a little bit, but I do have a call to arms next turn. Benching round. Fortunately, that is pretty good. Would that have been a board that would you would like to Psychic Scream? Does he even have Psychic Scream? He does not have Psychic Scream, of course, in a spiteful deck, what am I thinking about? That's, that's a daft thing to go about. Knife Juggler, Beetle... I'm only going to pull two here, but then I can throw some knives at him. And the order is good. Come on. <laughs> Where's the... I would like a consecration this time around. No, uh, I guess not. Quality of Avenging Raw. Uh, that should actually be quite good. It does push some damage and I still have the answer I need for... Um, Force bite for her. The only bad card for me would be a Dusk Breaker, but that would have been bad nonetheless. I want to push through here, right? Oh, but yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I just want to push through as much as possible. Do you want a double spellbreaker here? Hmm. I think that could actually be fine. I'm going to push three damage. And any knives. I might get. That sucks a little bit. Come on. Ah, there you go. Good job, Knife Juggler. I need something crazy here. He needs another Psychic Scream or something, but still I have Valonir and I have a good number of initiative cards so hopefully I'm in a good spot ah uh, yeah starting to play all right that's actually where I could use the silence damn it I think then I need to make sure that he does not heal as much uh, so I will actually drop this, uh, this one, and I'll pump in this one. Ah. Yes, that's fine. This is not, he shouldn't be playing in the list, any of these obsidian statues. What? Jeez. This is fine. I still have a minion in hand. Go. Pushing damage, which is fine here. Avenging Wrath is really good. It's a potential that I do get lethal with it, actually. Come on! Why is it? Why is it always that one? Come on! Give me quality. What is that? That is like ten damage. Potentially, that's enough. 
Hmm. Let's do this first. Let's do this first. Or... If 4 hits, that's actually fine. Then I'll just hit him with the... The Balamir. It does not. Then we need to do this. And that. He's gonna heal four. That is a some potential. Is someone injured? He just can't have a mind control, but he's probably still running that within the deck, so it's... Uh... <sighs> so if I drop... Ingrain... I do have it set up that he needs to do this. <sighs> what would Uther do? 13 cards left. So he, if he has mind control, he's probably sitting with at least one in the hand. And he probably does. They, that deck does from mind control. But I still am going to do if he has one and he grabs the Argent Command, alright? But is that less of a risk? We're gonna do this. I think it's probably wrong, but let's see. He's got this under control, he needs to make an error here, and even if he does have another, the other mind control, he just won. I need two cars to handle this, and I cannot. Uh, uh, that's it. it was probably the wrong. I was the wrong way around it. Not probably. Should have dropped the Argent Commander. Maybe. That was the first time. Let's see if we can get to the next one. That's lethal. I'll just drop the commander. He should then concede right away. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Second try to get this. Sarah can be good against Paladin. Quite favorite against Druid, I think. I also mentioned it last time. Um, 
Knife chapter can be a good keep. Also with Serenites. I really want the Cold Arms instead. Or maybe a another two drop. Uh, this can be fine. We have turned our curse into our strength. Reporting for duty. Worst case is what glacial shard maybe because then I can't drop the knife juggler. Okay, a jungle giant's deck. I think that could be okay. Because that's a place towards the large combo in the end with Malagas the way I remember it. Here. Hopefully, I get either a two or call to arms, blessing of kings, something like that. True silver could also be good. Okay, it's a berry. Oh, that's nice. How long can this go on? How long? Bad. Free me. Really want to push damage here. Your magic shall not save you. Worst case scenario would be spreading plague. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed the button there. That's not great, but it's okay. It's a lot of damage in hand. Like, really a lot. Consecration is a great counter here. Still have my Divine Shield and everything. He is really on his heels right now. On. Just get in already. Fourteen. That's what I can do. Let's see if I can count it up. Spell break is not doing anything. That's four. That's ten. I can only do eight. I don't have the last two. So let's do this. Will be I think that card was kind of a Hail Mary. If he does not get anything from the top deck here, I am not convinced how he can actually be able to pull this off. He's kind of good for him. But is it enough? Let's see if I can count it up just in a moment. The spell break, huh? Okay, so if I bump in these two, go Avenging Wrath. Then it clears. One, two, and then I have that's six damage. 
plus another six. That's it, cleared. So I've got lethal. Alright? Yep. Awesome. And there we go. Legend, here we come. Only the second try this time. Amazing. Cool. So let's see how this time uh, we'll, we'll manage in the legend ranks. Last time I just wanted to get there. This time we might be able to progress a little bit as, as well. So. so thanks guys for sharing this moment with me. It was completely awesome. Um, it's always nice to hit legend. Uh, so it's it's really fun, and and it just goes to show that that paladin is really good. Even though we encounter a lot of paladins, um, it it is really something that is is very very good when raid. Uh, a deck that is really really good. Um, on the stats, it is a positive win rate all the way across, or at least that that for instance for priest, which is a a bad matchup for this, and also Warlock, you still can actually go even with it. So a 66% win rate with this exact deck list, that was really amazing, um, and a very very good win rate for a deck, definitely, um, also in the high ranks. So with that in mind, I'll just say that thanks for watching and sharing this moment with me, and see you next time. Bye bye.